FC Richmond are officially in FIFA 23. There he is, the man himself, Jason Sudeikis' Ted Lasso is officially in this game. That's actually balmy to say, you know. Anybody who's following me on Twitter, subscribed to me on YouTube, will know that as soon as EA announced Richmond are in this game, I could not wait to sink my teeth into this. Oh, boys, just look at them. Danny Rojas, Jamie Tart, Obisanya, the big man himself, Roy Kent. My name is Ted Lasso. I find it really cool that they've actually put put most of their players' real faces and scan them onto the game. I found that so cool. We actually do have a fair amount of money to work with as well, with 33 million, so I'm pretty certain we can do quite a bit with that. And we began that transfer by saying goodbye to George Goodman for just over 15 million. Not before bringing in Nick Pope for 15 million on the dot, as well as bringing in Brazilian fullback Cal Henrique for just 14 million. Leaving the team looking like this going into season one of the AFC Richmond rebuild. I'm still having a hard time believing that I'm rebuilding Rich. I'm still having a hard time believing Richmond are in FIFA 23. And when you take a look at the team itself, I mean, we could be looking at a mid-table finish. Especially when you take into consideration we're unbeaten in our first three games as well. But there was one team I was definitely playing against. If you know, you know. When Nate the Snake ditched Richmond to join the Hammers, Richmond found their biggest rivals in West Ham United, which makes this one of the biggest games of their campaign. This is a must win, boys. We can't can't lose to Nate the freaking snake. We did have early chances, but we just couldn't put them away. And run for days. The boy's got speed. He's going to have a pop. And it's straight into the hands of Ariola. Use. Shot. Oh. <laughs> Roy Kent making himself known. And I get paid to play a game. Obviously, has found Hughes on the left-hand side of the pitch. Can we find the dink? Jamie Tart, head on that. It's, oh, for God's sake. But with some beautiful passing, we finally found the opening we were looking for. Jamie Tart is on his own, but he always found right. Danny Rojas, Rojas, oh, we strike first. Danny Rojas, Rojas. We put that in Nate the Snake's face, and we take a 1-0 lead at home against West Ham United, 35 minutes in. And it's, of course, the boy who loves football, the boy who says the football is live. Football is live. And we weren't quite finished yet. Oh my God, Jamie Tart. Oh my God, the touch of absolute dreams. Jamie Tart, man. What a goal that was. We take a 2-0 lead. Nate the Snake's going to get sacked. And we are cruising against the Hammers. And there we have it. We have won the first game out of the two fixtures we are going to play against West Ham. We've got to be careful, though, in the second fixture. Because Nate the Snake is going to come back with a vengeance. And after that pretty impressive win over West Ham United, we skipped to the halfway point of the season. And we found ourselves in the top eight of the Premier League. Which is pretty goddamn good going if you ask me, considering we've inherited a pretty average squad, to be honest. This is a little update on how the team looks going into the second half of season one, and this improvement all over the place. I'm really shocked. Roy Kenstall, 83 rated at 40 years old. He hasn't decreased a single stat. If anything, he's improving. The great Roy Kent. Our signings at the start of this season, Nick Pope and Henrique have both improved, so it's pretty decent signings if you ask me. But the way I see it, as long as we finish above West Ham United, I couldn't care less. We have arrived at the end of the season, and unfortunately for us, we didn't finish anywhere near West Ham. West Ham were fifth, we finished eighth, and they were miles ahead of us in the points tally, which Nate the freaking snake is going to absolutely love. But in fairness, guys, we've done pretty well to finish in the top 10 never mind anything else it was manchester city who finished first then it was liverpool spurs united west ham united chelsea leicester and then it was ourselves with southampton brentford and bournemouth biting the bullet chelsea won the fa cup they also went on to win the carabao cup as well with villarreal winning the conference league napoli winning the europa league and psg smacking city up in the champions league final now this is a surprising turn of events obi sanye outscored Jamie Tart this season. Okay. I mean, they've both done fairly freaking well. 86 rated Obisani Green Fab overall this season with Jamie Tart going to 
87 rated this season. Danny Rojas with 13 goals and 10 assists as well with 84 rated now. Definitely three players that stood out amongst the rest, but we're hoping for bigger things in season two. Roy Kent is a different breed. 83 rated still at 41 years old. This man is just built differently. My name is Ted Lasso. And to my surprise, Richmond's players have really improved quite well, especially McAdoo. He's turned into a monster. I do think to make sure that this team is ready for the second season in the Premier League, we'll definitely need a better winger and a better centre-back. And with £50 million pounds to work with, I'm almost certain we can sort out that team. We only did a couple of things in that transfer window. The first one being bringing Matthias Ginter away from Freiburg for just £23.3 million. And thanks to Danny Rojas putting in a very good word for us, Herving Lozano has joined us for just £23.1 million. Leaving the team looking like this, going into Season 2 of this rebuild, and quite frankly speaking, I'm loving how this team looks so far. Jamie Tart and Danny Rojas this season, watch out for them. They are going to pull numbers. As well as that, our top goal scorer, Sam Obisanya, 23 years old, 86 rated. He performed outstandingly well last season. I'm expecting exactly the same this year. But boys, this season is huge. With this team, I'm striving for that top six. We had an amazing pre-season tournament going undefeated in three games against pretty good opposition. However, we have got three points from a possible nine to start the season off, picking up a win against Arsenal, but losing out to Nottingham Forest and Manchester United. And with the team looking as good as it is, I really want to play with them. And my first game playing with them this season would be against Leicester City at the King Power Stadium. I think it's imperative that in this game we get a win because two losses on the bounce is just a bad thing waiting to happen. We started the game by showing our attacking threat very early on. Here I you, Jamie Tart! Oh, the touch! Jamie's Tart's touch was too much for him. Jamie Tart with the delivery in from the corner. It's a decent ball. It goes back to Jamie Tart. He gets it to Lozano. Irving Lozano on his absolute... Oh, he's done, oh, he's done beautiful there. Okay, right, we need to come back. Dixon, whip one in. Danny Rojas! But it didn't take us long to break Leicester City's defence down. Rojas, Danny Rojas! Finds Obisanya, Obisanya on his left foot! What a strike from Sam Obisanya! The right midfielder coming in close to top goal scorer last season. He is proving to us why at this moment in time he is hands down our most valuable asset to the squad. But our lead lasted as long as Spurs' title hopes. Oh no, oh boys, already! Boys, defensively that was a shambles. Oh Jamie Vardy, you absolute shit house. But it didn't take us long to regain the lead. Oh Jamie Tart on the turn! Oh what a strike! Jamie Tart, that was a brilliant goal in fairness. That's not easy to do in real life. Your body against the goal, teams are just hits it. That takes some freaking doing, and Jamie Tart is the man to do it. Right, we need to hold this lead now. No freaking stupid mistakes costing us the lead in about three minutes' time. Oh, it's a beautiful ball in from Jamie Tart. He finds Danny Ro Oh, what a save! Oh my god! Five minutes into the second half, we killed the game dead. I'll be signing. Oh, he's being closed down so quickly there. Jamie. Oh, Lozano! Oh! What a goal from Herving Lozano, the number 10 strikes. A freaking dagger into Leicester City's heart. 3-1 up we go. Two goal separation between the teams. It looks like the game's completely in our hands now. Easy dub, boys. Easy dub. 3-1 at the King Power Stadium. Hopefully this form runs until December at least. And after simulating to December, we find ourselves inside the top six. We are currently fifth place in the Premier League. And in fairness, guys, we could definitely make that top four by the end of the season if our form runs like this until the end of May. And this is a little update to now the team that's going into the second half of this season with us literally having only four million in the transfer budget. We couldn't bring anybody into this team. But frankly, we don't need anybody in this team. The only place that we'd ideally need to improve is this left back position. But Henrique is continuing to improve every single season. So we don't see the need to actually replace him. And Dixon's the exact same. But my goal for the end of this season, top six finish. Boys, you are not going to believe this. Not only have we got top 10, not only have we got top eight, not only have we got top six, we are officially in the top four at the end of season two. We have beaten Manchester City to the fourth place spot by one freaking point. I am absolutely buzzing with this. Liverpool were crowned champions this season, finishing four points above second place Manchester United. Then it was 
Oh, God, that's just killed me. He'd also finished above us. And it was Norwich, Burnley and Brighton who bit the bullet this time. Leeds United pulled off a humongous upset beating City in the FA Cup final. City have definitely not had a good season this time, have they? Nice won the Conference League. RB Leipzig went on to win the Europa League. Holy shit, what a game this turned out to be. City beat United 6-5 to win the Super Cup. This season has been crazy. Sevilla beat Real Madrid to win the Champions League. Jamie Tart was the man of the hour this season with 27 goals and 4 assists, giving up to 89 rated. Danny Rojas and Obi Sanya fell off a little bit this season. However, the unfortunate one is Roy Kent. I do believe he is retiring because I've tried to renew his contract and as you can see, there is not that option. So whether we like it or not, at 42 years old, the man, the myth, the goddamn legend that is Roy Kent is officially retiring. He was our leader, our captain, but just like in the TV series, he is passing that captain's armband off to McAdoo. With Roy Kent's retirement still fresh, that midfielder position is there to fill up, and with 99 million, I am certain we can do a hell of a lot of good with that money. And we only did one thing in that transfer window, and that was signing English centre defensive midfielder Calvin Phillips for 53.5 million. Leaving the team looking like this going into season three of this rebuild. I know I said that I wasn't going to replace him, but Henrique hasn't exactly improved from last season. He's 81 rated, 27 years old. I think maybe in the January transfer window, we may be looking for a better alternative. And on top of that, we make our official debut in the Champions League with Richmond. We are in Group D, joined by RB Leipzig, Ajax and Copenhagen. And to, I'll be honest with you, I have no idea how this is going to go. I'm just kind of gassed that we've got Richmond to the Champions League in only three seasons. After picking up three draws from three games in the group stage our chances of qualifying for the Champions League looked very bleak and after a terrible start to the Champions League group stage playing three games drawing three some wait until you see this guys somehow with five draws and one win we have made it to the round of 16 RB Leipzig and Ajax crash out of the Champions League RB Leipzig will go to the Europa League but FC Copenhagen take a bow lads maddest group stage I have ever been a part of but we are into the round of 16 which is the most important thing and we are facing off against Villarreal in the round of 16 not only did we do pretty well in the Champions League group stage we are doing tremendously well in the Premier League we are second place only three points behind league leaders Manchester City I think it's safe to say with a couple more decent signings we could be running away with the Premier League and maybe even go all the way in the Champions League but who knows and in that transfer window we sold both Henrique and Reynolds for a combined total of just under 30 million we then brought in Spanish fullback Angelino for just over 54 million leaving the team looking like this going into the second half of this season this is the team this is the squad that we are taking into the round of 16 tie and we are looking very goddamn deadly the back four looks very goddamn good now even pope keeps growing 84 rated at 32 years old he was a bargain he was at the start of this rebuild the bench actually looks pretty decent as well so without further ado let's go to the round of 16 fifa 23 is already broken i could swear to god we drew up against Villarreal. Like, it definitely was a Spanish team. It just wasn't Atletico Madrid. They're facing off against Villarreal. They've stopped using the five at the back formation. They've gone with a 3-1-4-2 with Oblak, Tapsoba. Ver oh my God, Varane's gone to Atletico Madrid. Ooh, you're a brave man. In the Chelsea rebuild, we couldn't win the first leg of any knockout stage game. Let's see if Richmond can be different come on boy oh god above we just uh, we just can't win the first leg can we we went into the second leg 4-2 down on aggregate and our chances of progressing to the quarterfinals looked very goddamn bleak but we were hoping for jamie tart and danny rojas masterclass we have come back from worse 4-2 down i believe it was atletico madrid as well who we got smashed against last time so let's see if history can repeat itself once more and we can get past them. And to be honest, we couldn't have asked for a better start. Oh, Danny Roas. Danny Roas on his left. Oh my God. What a strike from Danny Roas. And we are straight back in this tie. 4-3 on aggregate. We are currently 1-0 up. It's all to play for now, boys. It's all to play for. But one huge mistake proved to be a humongous blow for our chances. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, boys, I missed time that so badly. I missed time it so badly. And everything just went from bad to worse. 
Oh no, 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 no. Oh boys, it's done. It is done. Like, I don't think I'm coming back from this. We're 6-3 down on aggregate now. The game's running away from us and we can't get a handle on this game at all. But from absolutely nothing, we got a lifeline. I'll be standing from outside the pit. What a goal from Obisanya! A left-footed finesse shot from well outside the box. And maybe this game isn't done and dusted after all. Unfortunately, though, it wasn't meant to be because after that goal went in, we couldn't stop conceding. Oh, boys, come on. Oh, this is just embarrassing. I mean, we didn't deserve to win. 9-4 it finished in aggregate. They put nine goals past us in two games. Boys... I don't even think I want to qualify for the Champions League next season after this. We are not ready for this at all. We need some major signings next season. I don't know how we've done it after that embarrassment in the round of 16, but we are back in the Champions League next season after finishing fourth place in the Premier League. City ran away with it this season. First place in the Premier League, followed by Liverpool, then it was United, then it was ourselves, followed by Everton, Chelsea, West Ham. <laughs> Nate the Snake just can't catch his can he? There's just something about Arsenal and Spurs finishing in the bottom half that makes my day a whole lot better. And it was Southampton, Fulham and Watford this time who bit the bullies. Meanwhile, Liverpool went on to win the FA Cup. Wolves beat Chelsea to win the Carabao Cup. Frankfurt won the Conference League. Liverpool went on to win the Europa League. RB Leipzig beat Sevilla to win the Super Cup. And AC Milan went on to win the Champions League. That I didn't see coming. Even though we had a shambolic run in the Champions League this season, we've definitely got goal scorers in this team. For example, Jamie Tart, over 45 goal contributions this season. Obasanya from the right midfielder position, 30 odd goal contributions this season. Danny Rojas, over 20 goal contributions. Lozano, 16 goal contributions this season. We've definitely got goal scorers. I think it's just the rest of the team that are letting us down a little bit. But it's very obvious that Jamie Tart, Sam Obasanya, and Danny Rojas are carrying this team. It's just a matter of time before they carry us to a Champions League. There's only a couple of positions I'd really like to improve. I'm going to stick with Dixon, however, though. He's been with us since the start, and he's improved very nicely since then. I'm actually also going to stick with Bumbercatch as well. 28 years old, 83 rated. He's done a very good job. However, I am thinking of improving the left winger position. Lazar performed the worst out of our attacking options last season and I want it to be a little bit more competitive amongst our attackers. And this season we've got a massive budget in £114 million to spend so we aren't going to cut any corners. And in that transfer window we brought in two big players. The first one being Hoiberg for £40.8 million and we robbed Raheem Sterling away from Chelsea for £60.1 million. Which leaves Richmond looking like this in season four and it looks freaking brilliant now we've got rid of every single weak link on this pitch Dixon however I'm gonna have a little bit of faith in like I've just said we haven't lost faith in Bumbercatch we just wanted a little bit of squad depth and with Phillips and Hoiberg in the midfield it does look a hell of a lot stronger Raheem Sterling I mean there's a multitude of reasons why I bought him and firstly he's absolutely brilliant in my opinion and secondly could you imagine Ted Lasso meeting Sterling I mean he would have so many jokes about Sterling's last name being a current like Honest to God, if you've watched the show, you would know. And we are once again in the Champions League, this time in Group B, joined by Monaco, Porto and Trabzonspor. Now, from last FIFA, we rebuilt every single one of these teams, I believe, and we all know that they are pretty good. So I'm not taking any of them for granted, but I am hoping for once again for us to get into the round of 16. Well, this time we definitely did well in the group stage. We finished top of the bunch with 12 points from 18. Monaco was second, Porto go to the Europa League and Trabzonspor finished rock bottom of the group so we are once again in the round of 16 hopefully this time we'll be against someone who isn't Atletico Madrid we're up against Dortmund okay definitely an easy team to play against considering Haaland's no longer there oh my god what the hell has happened to us in the Premier League we were literally second in the league and now we aren't even anywhere near sec we are literally 13 points away from second place. We're just shite in the Premier League at the minute. And this is a little update to now the team looks after that transfer window, which we couldn't do anything in because we literally had 5 million left from the first transfer window in September. So this is how the team looks. And 
it's bizarre to me that this team is currently in the top 10, not even close to being in the top 4 because look at it, man. Look at how good this team is. It is far better than ninth place. My only hope is we do well in the Champions League because otherwise this season has been a scrap. But once again, we just couldn't win the first leg. Let's see what we can do, boys. Come on, for the love of God, win. Oh my god, are you joking? It's as simple as this, boys. If we lose this game, we're out once again in the round of 16. It's only 1-0 down as well. We can definitely overturn this. We've surely got to be able to overturn... Come on! <laughs> Finally! We beat the Germans on penos. We've done the impossible. We're into the quarterfinals. Thank God for that. I don't know about you, boys, but I'm smiling. Revenge. We got knocked out embarrassingly. 9-4 on aggregate last year to these guys. This time, it's going to be the other way around because Richmond are going to de... <laughs> two all. Let's see what happens in the second leg. It was two all on aggregate going into the second leg and we had our chance at redemption. The question is, would we choke it or would we take full advantage of this opportunity? Oh, that's a beautiful ball to Raheem Sterling. Cuts inside on his drive. <laughs> the signing of the season gets the goal that we needed to take the lead in this tie. Atletico Madrid 2, Richmond 3. Then Obisanya scored to double our lead. Oh my god, Danny Roas into Jamie. Oh, oh boys. Yes! Obisanya with the second goal. We are giving Atletico Madrid a taste of their own medicine that they gave to us in the round of 16 last season. Then almost straight away, this happened. Oh my god. I'm sorry, Pope, how are you not saving that? I want to take another look at that. That, sure, I'm sorry. From my angle, oh, oh my God, that's a great goal. Oh, wow. okay, Pope, I take that back. You had no chance, kid. Then in the 77th minute, we killed the game dead. Oh, Obasanya! Come on! The killing blow has landed. 3-1, Orbisania heads it in against All Black. 5-3 on aggregate, surely to God, that's the game dead. Oh my God, we've done it. Revenge is so sweet. We're at home against Liverpool, the European Giants themselves. We've yet to win a single first leg in the entirety of the knockout stages. Can this be the first time we do... Oh, for God's sake. With the competition's top goal scorer in our starting 11, we went into the second leg all tied up. But the question was, did we have enough strength in our team to beat the European giants that are Liverpool? But very early on in the game, Liverpool showed us how deadly they could be. Oh, no. They've been pressing so much in the opening minutes of this game. And it's paid off and they are 1-0 up. It's 3-1 to one aggregate to them. This is not the start we wanted. But conceding early on woke the boys up because we started attacking and we broke down Liverpool's defence. But Alisson was the only thing that stopped us from equalising and getting back in the game. For God's sake. That's not good at all. At half time, I decided enough was enough and I switched to the 4 2 3 1 narrow, putting all of our attacking assets in better positions with the hope that this would give us a chance to get back in the game. Oh, that's a beautiful ball. Come on, Jamie Tart, all you. <laughs> A managerial masterclass. We changed the formation within five minutes of the second half. Being started, we are one all. Oh no. Oh, oh, a massive, a massive mistake. Oh, it's on you. Oh, 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 no. But one lapse in concentration and Liverpool just punished us. Oh, my God. There's no way. There is no way. We go up one end, hit the bar with Obisanya. And, oh, boys, that's heartbreaking. That's actually heartbreaking, man. We've worked so hard in the second half. <gasps> Ruas, please. Oh, oh, please. <laughs> oh, my God. Albisanya is turning out to be the absolute hero in this game. 2-2, two, 4-4 two, four, four on aggregate. Danny Rojas with the absolutely brilliant attempt on goal. Allison couldn't hold it in his hands. Albisanya's there for the rebound. 10 minutes left in this game, and it may not be over yet. And it was like I predicted the future because I was absolutely spot on. <gasps> Jamie Tart. Jamie Tart. Oh, he's left it for Raheem. Raheem, Obisanya to win it. Oh, my God. 
boys, Obisanya, the hat trick hero, has done it in the dying embers of the game. 5 4 on aggregate, we make it. And surely to God, that is our place in the Champions League final, booked and paid for. We are seconds. If, oh my God, we've got to be seconds away from it. We've done it. We are in the Champions League final. We have overcome all the odds. Oh my God. Richmond, AFC Richmond are in the Champions League final. And after that absolutely mental semi-final we just had against Liverpool, we face off against Real Madrid in the Champions League final. But before we get to that, I am hoping that in the Premier League, we picked our form up just a little bit. Before we actually get into how we've done this season, I need to show you guys something. Look at how close we are to getting sacked. I have never seen a number that low and not being sacked. The fact that this rebuild is still alive right now is actually insanity. We definitely picked a form up in the Premier League after finishing ninth in the midway point of the season. We finished in the top six. We just about managed to get in there, beating Leicester on goal difference. Chelsea, we're the champions of England this time, beating Manchester City to that post by goal difference in the end. Everton, for whatever reason, with third place, then it was Liverpool, United, ourselves, Leicester City and Wolves. And once again, Spurs and Arsenal, nowhere to be seen and Nate the Snake is 12th place where he freaking belongs. In this season it was Middlesbrough, Burnley and Brighton who bit the bullet. United went on to win the FA Cup, City went on to win the Carabao Cup, Braga went on to win the Conference League with Ajax winning the Europa League, AC Milan won the Super Cup and obviously it is AFC Richmond versus Madrid in the Champions League final. Boys, I said from start to finish, Jamie Tart, Danny Rojas and Obisanya have carried us this entire rebuild. Jamie Tart with just under 50 goal contributions in 52 games. What a season for this guy, man. Danny Rojas, 87 rated. The man who loves football. Football is live to this guy. He's 30 years old with 30 goal contributions. What an absolute baller. Obisanya, he fell off a little bit this season. I have to admit, he only got 11 goal contributions this season, but he still had an incredible run in this freaking rebuild. However, when it comes to Raheem Sterling, is it money wasted? I mean, at this point, I would say so. He did score a couple of very important goals for us, but he didn't do it enough. It has been quite the journey for AFC Richmond and Ted Lasso in this video. Jamie Tart and Danny Rojas, Obasanya, they have seriously carried this team. With the retirement of Roy Kent, the team felt a bit empty. Calvin Phillips stepped up to the plate. We increased the strength of this team every single season. Now we are finally ready for the Champions League final. The question is, can Jamie Tart, Danny Rojas and Obasanya carry us one more time for one more game. We took the fight to Madrid straight away. Oh, oh please, please. Oh, Obasanya, you could have hit that with a little bit more venom if you tried, lad. And then are the chances we need to take if we want to beat Madrid of all teams, man. We can't afford to miss chances like that. They will make us pay. I see Danny Roas, though. He collects it. Oh, the touch is too much, man. Oh, can we feed Obisanya? Can we send him? Obisanya, he's on the run. Oh, oh, Schlotterbeck, man. Obisanya, can we utilise his pace? Can we utilise the pace? Can one of you make a darting run? Jamie, Jamie, Jamie. All you, all you. Oh. We see. Oh, th this might be it. This might be it. Touch. Shot. Oh, my God. Sterling. Oh, please. <laughs> Jamie Tart. Jamie Tart. Danny Rojas. Please. Oh, my God. Oh, what a tackle from Obasanya. Jamie Tart. I see that run from... Oh, my God. Danny Rojas is through. Danny Rojas. Danny Rojas. On his right. Courtois. We have had seven shots. 57% of the possession. I swear on my life, if Real Madrid get one shot and they score from it, I'm going to launch this controller out the freaking window. And after absolutely dominating Madrid in the first half, we finally got the upper hand. Sterling, I see that run from Jamie Tart. Jamie Tart on his left. Finally! Finally! Oh my god, 48 minutes in. An early chance in the second half. And we put it away at long, long, like it's only two Kate shots. It's only two Kate shots, but we finally broke Real Madrid down and broke the deadlock. And just as I predicted, one shot, one goal. No, 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 for God. Just, are you joking me? Honestly, that is literally their first shot. 
I hate this game sometimes. I swear to God. But that didn't deter us from it. But that didn't deter. But that didn't deter our attacking prowess, and it paid off. Jamie Tart on the turn. He's made it 2-1. Oh my God, Jamie Tart is unstoppable in this game. The second half, he has really woken up. Both shots, both on target, and we make it 2-1. And after that, Real Madrid broke down and we completely took control of the game. Danny, Ra oh my God. Hoiberg to make it three. Oh! I see that run from oh, Jamie Tart. He's oh my God. Head on that. Danny Rojas. Oh my God. 75 minutes in, 3-1 up. Is the game dead? That's the question. Is the game dead? I see that run for... Oh, my God. Stealing's on. Stealing's in. Stealing's in. Can we finish it off? 4-1. It's done. 85 minutes in. Raheem Sterling, who's done absolutely nothing this season, has basically put the nail in the coffin on this game. And we can officially say, Ted Lasso, you have made AFC Richmond. We have made AFC Richmond champions of Europe. But you guys know me. When I get that far ahead, I do tend to doze off a bit. Oh, my God. Well, to be fair, it doesn't make all that much difference. We're in the 90th minute. We've got Obasanya on the ball. We're dead in their half. Surely that's it, though, right? And there it is. We have done it. AFC Richmond are officially the champions of Europe. And after so much adversity, we've overcome everything and won the entire goddamn thing. Anybody who knows me or follows me on Twitter, subscribe to me on YouTube, knows that as soon as these guys got announced that this was going to be one of my first videos that I've done. I know it's second and there's a lot of other teams that you guys want me to make, but I could not pass up on this opportunity. But if you did go on to enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, smash the hell out of that subscribe button if you are new around here, turn that notification bell and so you never miss a video I upload. We are so close to 6,000 subscribers now and the like goal for today's video is 250. That is all from me. It has been your boy Gordon. I hope you guys have an amazing afternoon and until next time, I'll see you later.